Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Xavier Plays, and in today's video, my friends, I'm gonna be sharing another Magisk module which will boost your device's performance. But we're not gonna be like focusing on CPU, RAM, storage, or the network itself. Instead, we're gonna be focusing on the most powerful component which is responsible for rendering graphics and videos, etc. Yes, you guessed it right. If you did, uh, it's the GPU itself. So today, we're gonna be tuning our GPU. Of course, we're not gonna be overclocking it or anything instead we're gonna be installing a magis module which claims to install newer version drivers like for example the driver for adreno 630 can be installed on the adreno 540 or 530 or whichever adreno you're using you can use new graphics drivers for your older gpus so in today's video we're gonna be addressing this and if you're new to the channel then please like subscribe and share this video with your friends now before starting the video I have to tell you one thing and that one thing is well the Magis community itself is complaining a lot like a lot of older Magis modules are not working anymore and people have been complaining everywhere and they're thinking it's the channel's fault or it's like a corrupt Magis module but it's not anything like that in fact I have a fix for that problem and if you guys haven't found it yet and like nobody's providing it then you can tell me I'll provide that fix to you and I'll make a different video for it because I try to make my videos as short as possible and on topic as possible. So now we're gonna be starting the video. Let's go guys. First of all guys hear me out this time I'm not gonna be sharing a media file link because this time we have to verify some things before downloading the Magis module itself. So the link is in the description we're gonna go into the XDA forms and in here we're gonna be first verifying if our CPU is supporting Adreno 500 series GPU or the Adreno 600 series GPU. In here you can see mine is Snapdragon A35 SDA35. So mine is Adreno 500 series but if your is not present here you can go into the Adreno 600 series and in here you can see and if if your driver like if your CPU is supported then you can download the Adreno 600 series drivers otherwise you can download the Adreno 500 series drivers and if you mess this up you can easily boot loop your device so be careful and okay in my case I have the Adreno 500 series so I'm gonna go back and download the Adreno 500 series drivers we're gonna swipe down and here we we will see the Google Drives folder and in here we're gonna click it and here we're just gonna open this and you can see here there are two actually three files we're gonna open Adreno 500 in my case and here I'm gonna open the open AIO folder after that here you can see all the different versions of the drivers so mine is 835 and of course we're gonna install version 5.5 because that's the latest one and in here now pay attention guys now in here we have to be extra careful the M stands for the Magis module and R is a flashable recovery zip file which is not uh, uninstallable so we're not gonna be installing the R one and we're just gonna be installing the Magis module we're gonna be downloading it and it's very simple to download it and even more simple to install it but still I'm gonna show you we're gonna be opening Magisk and in here we're gonna be going to the module section and as always we know how to install it I already have it installed but still I'll show you we're gonna press on install from storage and in here you can see there it is the M team drivers open GL Vulcan I'm just gonna press on it and after that select it and Magisk itself will install it that's it guys that's all you had to do to install this Magisk module and this Magisk module actually improves your GPU's performance drastically and it improves your performance by 40 to 50 percent I'm talking about the GPU overall scenario it increases your GPU performance by 40-50% and overall performance by 10 to 15% so you might get like some frames like 10 or 5 more FPS in gaming now this is it I'll see you in the next video until then goodbye guys and take care see you later